network server license is one of Microchip's MPLAB XC compiler license types and is the best choice if a compiler must be accessible to any number of engineers who don't need to access it simultaneously, or if you prefer the license to be installed on a central server. When installed, it allows one machine on the network to access the compiler for as long as required. Other machines can access the compiler after a lockout period, which is one hour from the time the license was last accessed. In this presentation, we will discuss the steps required to download, install and set up the compiler using a network license. If you are not familiar with some of the steps described in this webinar, the Downloading, Installing and Licensing MPLAB XC Compilers webinar has additional information. Here is how a network license is set up. A license server application is downloaded and installed on the machine which you designate as the server. You then need to purchase a network server license and download the license file, which is also loaded onto the server. The required MPLAB XC compilers can then be installed on each of your development machines and configured as network clients. Once the server application is operational, it manages access to the license from network client machines. Note that the server machine does not need to be running a server edition of your operating system, and that you can install the server software on a virtual machine. However, you will need to also install a virtual machine license add-on for the server to work correctly. The network license server application can be obtained from the MPLAB XC compiler webpage. Go to the Downloads tab and scroll down to the Network Server Installer section. Download the application relevant for the operating system running on the machine that will act as your license server, and note that this can be a different operating system to that running on the client machines. Run the installer application and follow the prompts. Once you see the dialog shown, installation is complete. You might like to record your host ID for later licensing transactions, but you can obtain this by running the XCLM application at any time. The next steps are to purchase a license and download a network license file. You can do that using the links provided in the dialog shown, or follow the procedure on the subsequent slides. A network license can be purchased from Microchip Direct or the MPLABX store. Ensure the product you select is for the correct compiler type, for example the XC32 Pro compiler, and that you have selected the Network Server license. Add the required product to your cart and complete the transaction details at the checkout. On the Order Receipt page, click on the Download Software link. This takes you to the My Software webpage which is also accessible from the software webpage on Microchip's website after the My Microchip login process. Find your network license purchase, click the link to download the network license file, and enter your host ID when prompted. The download will consist of license installers for all three supported operating systems. A network license can only be licensed to one server. Contact Microchip using the licensing email address if you need to change your server. With the server installation complete, you can turn to the compilers. Download the regular compiler installer from Microchip's compiler webpage. Go to the Downloads tab and scroll down to the compiler area. Download the installer for the required device family and for the operating system running on the client machine hosting the compiler. Install a compiler on your client machines as you would normally, but select Network Client in the License Type dialog. This selection will then prompt you for the IP address of the network license server. Leave the port number unchanged. Click Next and follow the prompts in the remaining dialogs to complete the compiler installation. You do not need to install a compiler on the server unless you are also using the server as a client machine. In MPLABX IDE, the server address of an installed compiler can be changed at any time by swapping to that compiler in the current project and selecting Change License Type from the Tools menu. 
This dialog also allows you to reconfigure a compiler using a workstation license so that it will use a network license obtained from a server. With everything installed, the last step is to start the license server. Here's how you can do that in a terminal. If you are unsure of the installed location of your license files, run the XCLM application in the terminal or command window using the dash license path option. XCLM is located in your compiler's bin directory, but there is also another copy in the server's bin directory. Next, run the RLM application. This is only located in the server's bin directory. To start the server, specify the dash C option and the license file path. This command will allow compilers to access the license for as long as the command, hence the server, is running. It is recommended that the server is not run behind a firewall. Typically you would configure the license server so that it is automatically started and available at all times. Under Mac OS X or Linux, this can be achieved by incorporating the RLM command into a script that can be executed at boot time. Under Windows, the license server must be installed and run as a service. This can be done two ways. You can use the dash install underscore service option to the RLM application, which will then perform this installation for you. Alternatively, you can perform the installation using the RLM web interface, which is accessible after you run RLM, as shown in the previous slide. In your favourite web browser, connect to the server via port 5054. Click the Manage Windows Service button. You can typically accept the default entries for each field, but change the Server License File Directory field so that it contains the path of your license file. Once installed as a service, the license server will be available after the server reboots. There are many other options to assist with the installation and maintenance of the server. Check the MPLAB XC License Server Manual for full information on the available server options and features, and for startup scripts for Linux and Mac OS X.